Back here with Jared Salta Lamacchia. And uh, you, you made your major league debut on your 22nd birthday. Uh, but now you sit here only 26 years old, but uh, maybe because you were up in the game so quickly, uh, people talk about last year, you know, he's got to go to Boston and get his career back on track. You look at other catchers, and Matt Wieters, a year apart, and he's considered a prospect. Are you almost a victim sometimes of that early arrival in the big leagues? Uh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you know, when you're, when you're brought up so quick, you know, everyone's got expectations of you, and if you don't meet them, you know, to the T, you know, you get a label. Um, you know, I was fortunate. I would love to, you know, obviously you want to get called. That's your goal. Um, I felt like I was ready at the time, and, you know, I think I was. And then when I got traded to Texas, I was doing well in Atlanta. When I got traded to Texas, I got caught in the learn how to play first base and then catch on your off days from first and then, you know, hit with a new hitting coach. And it was just a lot at one time, um, you know, and I think it just kind of trickled from there, and I never really got my groove. When you came over to the Red Sox, you, you told me that, this is a place that you wanted to go because of Varitek and because of Gary Tuck. How much do you think you progressed in that time period of a year and a third? I mean, a, a ton. I mean, I can't. You never know, you know, what's going to happen, obviously. And, um, you know, it, it's it, it was just a godsend for me to come over here because, you know, I knew I wanted to come over here because it was Boston and it was, you know, the fans were great and it was just a fun, you know, a fun time to play here. Um, and then I got here and I didn't realize how much it was going to, how great it was going to be until I started working with Tuck and working with Tech and the pitchers and the organization, Theo, Ben, everybody was so good to me that it just, I mean, that's when my confidence came back and I could become a player that I know I can. It, it, one of the things during the 2007 World Series, Troy Tulowitzki said to me, the great thing about Fenway is that unlike other places where fans react, fans in Fenway Park anticipate. So there's pressure all the time in the game. Do you feel that? I, I really, I mean, I understand it, but I really don't. I mean, ever since I started playing here and being a part of, you know, Red Sox Nation, it, it's just been, it's lifted me, you know, because they do expect so much out of us, but at the same time, so do we, you know, and to have fans that are sports fans, not just, you know, a, a Red Sox fan or, they're sports fans, you know, everybody there knows sports, you know, so it's, it's good to be around and it's nice to have that atmosphere, so you're always on your toes, always ready to go. You talked about staying off the DL last year, but on that Monday in Baltimore, you took the foul ball off the collarbone, couldn't play in the last two games. How frustrating was it to not be able to be a part of that last night and maybe impact that game somehow? How tough was putting this season behind you? We've talked to the, really the whole team about what happened in September and how you moved beyond that. How difficult was that compared to other seasons? Uh, it was definitely the toughest time in, the, in my season just because, you know, you see what you did in the offseason with Tuck. You see what you did in spring training. You see what you did all season long, um, you know, just wanting to be out there and play and then it just gets taken away at the end, you know. Um, so it, it was tough on me, you know, but you know, we get to the off season, and you you know you start spending time with your family, and, and it's just you know you know that it's it's going to be okay, and everything's just it's it's a game. You know, we love this game, we play this game, um, so it, it's tough because we're such competitors, and we do not want to go home early. Um, but we've got this year, and you know I think everyone's determined, as you can tell, they're all here ready to play. So, do you feel that having Josh Beckett and John Lester go out the first day? and address last year, all the rest, started the process of closing the door on 2011? Um, yeah, I mean, I think what Johnny did this offseason when he, you know, addressed the press, you know, was, was what needed to happen just to kind of get it over with because we knew when we got to spring training it was going to be question after question after question. And that's what we just need to get it out of the way and get it over with so we can move on. You know, I mean, this is a new season. It's a new year. We can't think about what happened in the past. We need to move on and, and worry about winning in 2012.